Hey loves! So today I am going to be decorating my coffee bar. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. And we're going to turn it into a Christmas theme. I do this every season and I love it. It makes me so happy. I come downstairs in the morning and I love to make my coffee. Quick story, before we moved in, Ricardo and I would daydream about coming downstairs into this beautiful kitchen and making ourselves coffee. So you know, if you put it out in the world, it will happen. And we were so excited when we finally got the house and we were able to do it. So now I take full advantage. It makes me so happy. I took down all of the fall decor and now it looks a little bit sad. So we're going to make it look cute again. And I went shopping and got a few things. The inspiration for this coffee bar came from this cute little mug right here. It's so cute. It's a pink little gingerbread. And I wanted something different. Instead of the traditional colors of red and green, I wanted to do something somewhat different, but still keep it very classy. Here are a few things that, that I picked up. I went to Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I just go to all the stores that are close together. It makes my life so much easier and a lot of fun. This is one of the main things that I am so excited to put on my coffee bar because I can put cookies in here and I can put like brownies or just like baked goods. I feel like I don't bake often enough for me to have one. And so they were always so expensive and I never splurged on one. But this one was so inexpensive at Marshalls for only $16.99. All the other ones that I've ever seen have been like $50 so I was like you know what it's cute it's petite it like fits really well and I love the marble top and also the wooden bottom so I think it looks really nice we got this cute little candle holder and I'm not sure if I'm going to add it to it yet but I got it anyway this was from Ross and it was only like four dollars then I got this for Coco picked up these kitchen towels from Home Goods, and then this table runner is so pretty it's like frayed on the sides and this one I also got from Home Goods. I spread everything out here that I'm going to be adding over to the coffee bar and I didn't know what to do this year I was really stumped because I wanted to do something different but I just wasn't sure so what really inspired me was a super cute little mug and I totally fell in love with it. I've never seen anything like it, so I definitely wanted to use this guy as the main inspiration. And so therefore, I knew that I had to have some kind of pink, maybe some kind of red in there. And so I found everything that you see here at Target, which is pretty awesome. Everything was from the dollar spot section, except for these little ornaments here. And what I plan to do is just cut off the top and I could still place them inside of the tier which is what I usually decorate. I usually decorate this two tier right here. I found this two tier tray. I want to see either at Marshalls, Home Goods, or TJ Maxx, one of those stores. I would highly recommend for you guys to check your stores. You can also find them on Amazon. I'll have some link down below if you guys want them but they are kind of pricey. Even this one was pricey but I do recommend whenever I see them they always go. So what I want to do is I want to decorate this right here and so therefore I'm going to use little things to like decorate it with. For example, this little house, but I wasn't sure if these were going to fit, so I just purchased them and I'll return anything that I don't use. I always like to have some kind of sign, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be using something like this, like this, but they're so inexpensive, they're three to five dollars, and if I didn't want them, I could easily return them. For example, this one is one of my favorite because of the fonts, and it was only three dollars, which is great. So if you guys are having trouble trying to find little things to fit to decorate, look at little ornaments. These were only three dollars, and I feel like these are going to look so cute. If you guys are wondering how I ever come up with like different themes or just like how to decorate anything, whether it's like a room, a bedroom, a living room, I always pick out one piece that really inspires me, and then I go around that color palette. So for example, I wanted it to have accent colors of the pink but I wanted more of the, like the neutral colors which is like the brown and so therefore whenever I was looking for my decor I looked at pieces that were like wood tone colors that had a little bit of pink in there so we'll see how it all works out 
I always like to begin with a clean canvas so that way I don't get distracted with other like decor that I have and I'm sure everybody does the same thing so I'll put everything away and then I'll bring stuff back out if I knew that I was going to use them so for right now let's put away mugs and everything I might bring out back that Starbucks mug because I really like it it's just like white it's pretty and it just looks like really good um, my friend Sandy actually gave that to me as a thank you gift and I've been using that mug non-stop so I really really love it I'll bring it back out and show you guys and right now I'm just gonna go ahead and clear everything out Now that everything is out of the way, I'm going to bring back out the things that I know 100% for sure are going to stay, like this little pastry dish. I'm not sure what it's called, but we're going to call it that. And also, I decided to go with this sign just because I think it looks really pretty. It also matches um, where I'm going to be putting like the cookies and stuff, and also it matches the tear tray the best. When I was at the store, I couldn't really see it, but bringing it back home and laying everything out, I think that was probably the best option. And I also want to use this one mug that I have that my mom gave me for Christmas last year, which was really cute. Um, and then I really wanted to use these houses. Now I tried using different things. Some of the things did not fit in the bottom tier tray, and it just got a little, I don't know, a little too mixed match, and it started to look like clutter. So. And I was like, let's just take a break from that and bring out some greenery because I feel like we need some of that. And I found these cute little trees in the dollar spot too and they were $3. It looks so random up there. Nothing was working for me. I needed something to like contrast against all the wood and I found something. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. These have been so popular to use on trees as like fake snow, as like um, the ribbon around the tree. A lot of vloggers started using these and these are actually dusters from the dollar store. So you literally put a stick up here and you dust your house with it. And honestly, it was not even that expensive. I think like two come per box. And so I had a whole bunch from a tree that I decorated previously. And then I also wanted to take these cute little um, styrofoam balls or not, no, yep, these are styrofoam. And I wanted to add them around. So we'll see how it goes with this because I was having a hard time. I split one of these in two to make it less fluffy and it looked like snow. It looks so good and I'm happy that I went with this option because that way it broke down a little bit more of like the color since I felt like it just looked really plain and usually I'll put some kind of faux leaves on there or flowers and this time I'm like, you know what, we're going to go with fake snow. This is really cool. I cannot believe that I actually paid $5 for this at Target. And honestly, I would have paid like $15 to $20 for this. Just don't tell Target. We don't want them to increase their prices. But this is so cool. It has a variety of different signs that you could actually use. So you can change the decor from year to year and not have to have the same one over and over again. And I just love the wooden frame. I only found one of these and I haven't seen them since then. So if you have found one, keep it because they're really rare they've also have had a variety of like different houses over the past couple of years and I always get them just because they're so cute these are five dollars and they also have a battery operated candle which just makes the whole thing even better started to unpackage and like open everything up once I knew that I was keeping it including this little ornament which I just took off the top and it looks so cute and then also this little tree was in their Christmas decor section and these smaller trees were five dollars and they had some that were a little bit taller but still small for ten dollars help myself I wanted to envision what it would look like with little pastries on there so I got some coffee cake and I put it out I can't wait to have this with my coffee in the morning it's just going to make my heart sing And this is how it all turned out. I just had to keep it in mind to keep it a little bit more simple because when I was trying to put 
all these different houses and different textures and colors together, it looked a bit cluttered. So just keeping it simple with just a few colors makes it look really nice and clean and like sophisticated. It doesn't make it look um, juvenile. It makes it look like just really nice and clean. And I love the way that it turned out. Also, that little sign that says hot chocolate weather was actually from last year's um, dollar spot at Target. And I am so glad that I kept it. It was like 50% off, so I got it for like 50 cents um, once Christmas was over. So a lot of the decor that you can pick up can also be towards the end of the year for the following year. I hope this served as some inspiration and gave you guys ideas of how to decorate your space. And whenever I film these videos, the main reason why I do them is because I love to share them with you guys, give you guys ideas, and it just like brings so much happiness when it comes to like decorating. I don't know why, it's just like the space that you're in, it just makes you feel so happy when it's something that you love and something that you really like. It just totally changes your entire mood and I totally believe in that and that is why I love home decor. So I hope this gave you guys some ideas. I would love to see what your coffee bar looks like. So make sure to tag me over on Instagram at Belinda Celine. Make sure to follow me. And if you guys stuck around to the very end of this video, that means that you liked it. So please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do. I would love to have you as part of the family and I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchas besos. Mwah.